Hello everyone, and I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of our educational series. As always, my name is Spencer, and today we are going to be learning about slippage, answering the question, what is slippage? As a prerequisite to this video, I do recommend that you watch episode number one, how are prices determined on decentralized exchanges, because we will be using what we learned in that video in this video. So let's get started. Before we jump into anything too specific, we have our key terms and type of definitions to go over. Slippage is the difference between the quoted price and the final price. This is due to changing market conditions and your order's effect on the market. The first one being that other orders were executed before your order and that caused the price to change. Now, the way that transactions work on the blockchain, when you initialize a transaction, it goes into something called a mempool, which is kind of like the lobby in which transactions hang out in uh, before a validator node constructs and builds them into the next block in the blockchain. So if this was, say, your order, we'll do it in green. This one over here was your order, and you know this blue one over here was somebody else's order. Their order could, of course, make it into the next block before your order does, and therefore that could change the price before your order was executed. The next way that slippage is caused is because your own order caused the price to change. Now, before I jump into this one with an example, I will warn you guys that some of the math, the mathematics that I'm going to use in this example might not be totally 100% accurate. And that's because the purpose of this example is to explain to you the concept behind slippage and not necessarily how to calculate slippage mathematically. We can go over that in another episode though. So for our example, as usual, we'll set things up with BNB equaling about 500 bucks. Let's change that five real quick. 500 bucks. And we'll put $10,000 worth of liquidity into our pool, which means 10 BNB and 5,000 BUSD. Now let's say for the sake of this example that we wanted to make a five B and B sell, which means we're going to deposit it on this side and we're going to remove BUSD from this side. Well, we would think intuitively that you would just drop in 5 B and B and that you could just remove uh, 2,500 BUSD in one fell swoop, but that's not quite how it works. The best way to understand it or to imagine it is that out of this 5 B and B, our order goes through in small, tiny little bits. 0.1 BNB at a time. So this 0.1 BNB goes into the pool, and this BNB moves up just a little bit, and the BSB USD moves down just a little bit, and out of the other side we get 50 bucks. But we realize that once that happens, the values or the amounts of tokens inside the pool is now different. And that causes the price of the tokens in the pool to be different. If we jump into our favorite equation, y over x equals the exchange rate, and we plug in our new values being 4,950 BUSD over the 10.1 BNB, we come out with a number looking like 490.09. That is the price per BNB. So we can see that's a $10 change in the price of BNB based on the very small amount of BNB that we put into the pool. So if we were to continue with our transaction and put in another 0 0.1 BNB into the pool, this would come up just a little bit, and this comes down just a little bit, and we would get out 49 BUSD, right? So that would be uh, one-tenth of this price of BNB. And of course, the values in the chain in the pool change again. This becomes 0 0.2, becomes 4,901. And we jump in and do our favorite 
equation all over again. 4901 over 10.2. And this time we get 480.4 per B and B. So you can understand that every little bit that we put through the pool changes the price. Now it's not always this dramatic of a price change, but in this example, it's quite significant. So if we fast forward and go all the way to 15 and 2,500, now this is an extreme case and it, and it wouldn't exactly play out this way because of how slippage would affect this order. This is just to, show, to highlight to you guys how exactly this works. This would be 2,500. This would be 15. And that gives us 166 per BNB. All right, so you can see now that you would be getting a very, very bad price per BNB if you were to put this whole order through the pool in one transaction. And, and this is what amounts to slippage, right? If you had a, a different price for each one of these little BNBs, in the end, you wouldn't get your full $2,500 that we were looking to get out this side. You know, you might, you might get something much closer to $1,500 as your, as your final amount that comes out due to slippage. And this is essentially how it works. And that's it guys, nice and simple, nothing too complicated. I hope you learned something in this episode. Please tune in back in next time where we're going to be learning about liquidity.